Good evening. Welcome to Shaw Cable's Winter Games Preview. Tonight's show wraps up our series on the sports of the 89 Winter Games, but last but not least, my guest this evening is the chairperson for karate, Joe Dunn. Uh, Joe, welcome. Um, Joe, uh, I ask uh, you the same thing I ask everybody else. Uh, how did you become involved in the, uh, in the Winter Games? I became involved about four months ago when um, it was brought up to our club that we needed someone to, to help organize it. I suppose it's when they asked for volunteers, everybody stepped back and I was still standing there, so here I am. Yeah, most of the, uh, the people I've uh, talked to have uh, been in the, uh, the right place at the wrong time. Or, uh, but, uh, uh, Joe, what about the, the history of the sport of karate in the games? Has it been with the games since it started? Yes, it has. Um, karate, a uh, run through Karate BC, has uh, had a good history with the Winter Games. It's quite a professionally run operation now, too, as you'll see when, when they do put it on. They have, a, they have a very good crew, which basically goes to all the Winter Games and stages it effectively. So, these, um, uh, the, so the organization end of it, because of this crew, becomes much easier for your job, for example, because it, uh, they've done this before and can really give you a hand. Yeah, basically, um, once they get here, I just, I've been told I just go sit in the corner and <laughs> so you're <gonna> enjoy <laughs> watch it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and what about your background in karate? I've been involved for eight years with the Nelson Karate Club. I guess I'm basically one of the oldest surviving members. There are only two of us original members from when the karate club started. Our instructor is Ivan Velesic. He's a second degree black belt. And um, he's actually the assistant chairman. He was the chairman, but he had to become assistant because he's competing. And you can't be a chairman and compete at the same time. Okay, and uh, I'd I'd like to get more into the um, to the events and and the the the, the different colors a, a little later on, but you've brought some uh, tape with you uh, on on some karate, and maybe we should watch that now and uh, give the home viewing audience a, a a preview of what they're going to see. Certainly. That's for safety's sake. Yeah. It's about 20 seconds left in this match. Yeah.
Joe, after we've, uh, we took a look at that tape, what about the, uh, where is uh, karate going to take place in Nelson? What's the venue? The venue is Central School. And uh, is there any uh, specific changes that have to be made to it? Like some of the sports, you have to modify the venue a little bit. What about Central School pretty well, as is? Yes, basically as is. I noticed when I was up there the other day having a, another look at it, they put in some, some new exit doors, which I suppose were necessary for the crowds that are going to be there, and the school mm -hmm. benefits in that way. Okay, and uh, what about the spectators? Uh, lots of spectator room? Uh... Not a great deal, because um, we have bleachers that are being set up and benches along one side. Karate attracts a big crowd. It usually does. It's usually one of the best attended uh, mm -hmm. of the sports. So uh, if people are going, they should try and get there early and try and get in. And uh, as um, all of the uh, venues, they're all free, but uh, do you need a ticket or anything, or is it pretty well first come, first no, serve, and when they fill it up, that's it? When they fill it up, you basically have to wait until you can get in. Okay. Um, Joe, what about the zone trial? Uh, are there, uh, how many local athletes, or uh, did anybody make it for zone, or from Nelson from zone one? Actually, Nelson cleaned up in the, uh, in the zone. There's only one fellow from Fernie, and there are seven from Nelson. Okay. So. Do you have uh, some of their names with you? Yeah, and sure uh, do. Uh, maybe give us a rundown of some of these people. Okay, they're in different, um, from ages, up to age 16, they're in age groups. And after 16, they're in belt classes. Okay. The, um, there's a youth A and a youth B. Youth A is 15 and 16, youth B is 13 and 14. And in, the only youth we have is Richard Cartwright. He's in boys, 13, 14. Now, Richard stands a good chance of, of doing well in this because he's quite a strong fighter, a big, big fella too. Mm -hmm. So he'll do quite well. Uh, as far as the women, we have one, one girl, Jill Pierce. She's, she's, she's very good too. She's a very strong girl. She's in women's B. The women's categories are only A and B. So Jill will be fighting everybody up to uh, brown belt. And she can, in fact, fight black belts, okay. which is quite a... Is, and just before we uh, uh, get on with some of the, um, uh, the other athletes, is there a handicapping system because of that, or no, you're just, just you're in there <laughs> and, and hope that, uh, okay. Yeah, it's all, you just get in there and go for it. Go. Okay. And Jill has done actually quite well in the last competition. She did fight a black belt, and she didn't get beaten very badly, so okay. she, she stands a good chance. Right. In the men's C division, which is... Um, Actually, I should tell you what the belts are. The belts in karate start a white belt. The next is yellow, orange, green, blue, brown, and black. And there are 10 degrees of black belt. Okay. And as I said before, our instructors are second degree black belt. Yeah. Now, in the men's C division, which is uh, green and orange belts, we have John Hannock and Dan Ogloff. They're both quite good, too. They'll, they'll have a good fight. Mm -hmm. In the men's B division, we have, I'm sorry, women's B, we have Jill Pierce. In the men's B, Nicholas Nado. Now that's going to be um, blue and brown belts. Okay. Um, Nick's uh, about six foot two, I'm not sure. Quite thin, but he's very, he's very good. Okay. He's been working quite hard at this. Right. The um, black belt division, men's A, is Ivan Belesic. And uh, Ivan, as at the moment, is the um, gold medalist in BC for, in, uh, for uh, karate. Not in the Winter Games, but he holds it for the uh, Western Championships okay. in the Masters Division, which is over 25 years old. So you were saying that 16 and over, you're in, in belt divisions. In belt divisions. Under 16, you're in age in divisions. Age divisions. Yes. Okay, and so the... Um, uh, unlike boxing, for example, weight has nothing to do with it. Nope. It's strictly your expertise in, in the sport. Yep. Um, which, and the zone trials uh, were held, what, before Christmas? Yes, uh, they were held in Nelson. Okay. And uh, how many people would uh, try out for the zone trials? Would you have any Actually, idea? Actually, there, there were very few. It was mostly our club and one uh, club in uh, Fernie that came okay. over. And um, as I said, we cleaned up quite nicely. Right. There are only two, actually two clubs in our zone which are affiliated with the National Karate Association and Sport BC, so they're the only ones that are eligible to compete okay. for the Winter Games. 
Um, maybe we should uh, just follow that up a little bit. Uh, what type of tournament setup? Do, uh, do you pick your opponents out of a hat, or is it a round robin tournament? Or it's uh, a round robin. Uh, you get uh, no, it's not. I'm sorry, not a round robin. You basically get one chance, and the um, all the names are matched up previous to the competition, and you just you go to the scoreboard or the board, and you'll see who you're fighting when and where. I see. And um, in most cases, you only get one chance, and it's a three-minute round. If you lose out, then it goes on to the next, because there are 102 athletes competing over just a day and a half, so right. it's quite, uh, quite intense. And so every zone will be represented uh, mm -hmm. in the yes. karate competition? Yes, depending. There are, great, there are larger clubs in, say, uh, Vancouver, there'd be something like 22 people coming, right. as opposed to our seven or eight. Okay. What about, uh, you know, I, uh, the, uh, I, my uh, knowledge in karate is, is, is somewhat lacking. I, I've, I've always found the sport very interesting from a martial arts point of view, but uh, is it, it's non-contact. Am I correct right. on that? There's full contact and there's non-contact. There, there is full contact. I don't know how they do it, but they do do it. Right. <laughs> Ours is supposed to be non-contact. Uh, it does happen, but um, the, way, the way the matches are set up is that the, the target areas are the, the head, the uh, chest, the abdomen, the back, and those areas. You know, nothing below the belt. Right. You can't, uh, you know, break a person's leg or anything like that. Right. And the attack to, f to score a point in a match, there are three points, uh, gets you a win. And to score a full point, you have to have a definitive attack to one of those areas, uh, full force with control. You have to stop millimeters away, but be able to have continued it, and that'll get you a full point. Um, because you could have effectively completed the uh, move. Mm -hmm. You'll get a half point, which in Japanese is wazari, for a movement which is not quite up to that, but still was, would have been reasonably effective. Right. Um, and you can't, you can't attack, as I said, any other areas. You can't um, attack the spine or that sort of, you know, okay. anything dangerous. So everything is above the waist? Everything is above the waist. You do foot sweeps, which you know you'll see someone yes. come in and, and knock the foot out, and then yes. take the person down, and then then attack them. Um, and that's about all. I and and there. that would be what all that would be allowed. Now, what happens? Uh, and I'm sh it it must happen, I suppose, that uh, if there's a mistake made and contact is made. Is there points deducted for that? Yes, you can. You'll be first warned if it's a blatant attack. If the person had no control at all, he'll be disqualified immediately. Um, okay. If it's a you know it's a mistake, everyone's moving around yeah. very quickly, and that yeah. happens. Um, then you'll be you'll be warned, or you'll, you can be deducted points. Mm -hmm. We have about five minutes, Joe. Uh, maybe uh, we should tell a little bit what kind of medical support, uh, because you're dealing with a sport that uh, injuries, uh, uh, sprains, and and strains, and you know, uh, what kind of medical support services are provided during the Winter Games? Well, the Winter Games, of course, um, they'll have their own medical people, but the Karate BC group brings up a doctor with them that always oh, goes to all these matches. Mm -hmm. And he's quite expert at doing this sort of thing. Right. Um, do the athletes, um, like uh, the, I believe the boxing uh, chairperson uh, mentioned to me that some of these athletes are, um, they have to go through a, a medical exam before they're allowed in the ring. Uh, is there anything like that in karate? It's just no, not not per se. The person's obviously fit in the first place to right. advance to where they are. Yeah. There, there is nothing in that respect now. Okay. And um, the um, the judges uh, are they from out of the area? Are they brought in? From yeah, the judges will be from all over BC, and we have once again in uh, through Karate BC, we have some some very high caliber uh, judges which will be coming in. Okay. And. Um, they run a very good show. Is does the is the referee in the ring with them? There's one referee in the ring with them, same as boxing, and four corner judges. Okay. And it's not a ring; it's it's a uh, a flat surface, a matted surface, just. Okay. And that's all you'll see. Yeah. And the four corner judges. Um, uh, they're they're they are um, awarding points. Okay. You'll see um, the judge on either on either kitty corner across. They'll they'll flash cards, much the same as. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. They don't flash cards for that. They, they'll they'll raise a uh, a red or a white flag. Okay. Depending on who gets the point. Now the uh, athletes will be wearing a red or a white belt. Okay. So and I guess the four corners is because to get every to angle. See it, yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, we got about three minutes left. Uh, what about the minor programs that we do? You mentioned it very briefly at, at the beginning of the show. Uh, is uh, karate quite popular uh, in in Nelson for uh, from uh, on a local level? Yes, we have quite a, a good club for a small area. We have approximately 25 active members, which is about as big as it's ever been. Mm -hmm. Karate attracts a lot of people who come and try and find out it's either not easy or it's going to take a long time to learn. So there is a fair turnover. Right. But at the moment we have uh, about 25 people, and we are giving lessons at CIC too. So we're uh, we're attracting some of the Japanese students. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and you said, uh, what about your committee, Joe? How big is it? How many, how many support people do you need before the uh, BC Karate people come in? Uh, we have, uh, at this point, 21 volunteers, including myself. And um, we can do it with that. We're, okay. we're, we're fairly comfortable. And does the, Nelson, um, does the Nelson Club have to supply the equipment, or is that brought in also? Or? No, everything will be, everything okay. will be brought in. And you were saying off camera that there are uh, there will be two mats going at once. So yes, it'll be two rings, as they call it, going okay. at one time. Okay. So it'll be quite uh, intense. The two portions of this I should mention. One is the kata, which is a series of formalized movements. That'll be the first thing that takes place on Saturday okay. morning, and okay. the fighting itself takes place after that. So, and uh, with the kata, is a it's a is that judged at all? Yes, uh, that's judged. Uh, okay. The, the person will stand up there in front of the judge, all by himself in the middle of the ring, and have to go through a, a series of movements, and uh, he'll be judged on that. That's where the flashcards come in. I see. Okay. Uh, well, you've got, uh, by the time this airs, probably a couple days to go. Um, it's, uh, I, I wish you well in it, and uh, thanks very much for being a guest tonight. Thank you, Art. That's as much time as we have this evening. Uh, my name's Art Maxwell. Good night.